Continue live right here at Pittsburgh CW. Bob and Ron with you at 412-575-2600. A lot of people want to talk. Waylon, Washington, you're on. Hi, Bob. Hi, Ron. What's up? Hey, uh, nothing much. It's not really a good subject, but it's like the unsung heroes of the Steelers. Like, like I don't even know who's our guy that, uh, you know, it's like our long snapper now. You know, I think Warren's gone, uh, but like, you know, I think those other guys have a lot. Or they're valuable to a team that never get talked about. Any well, he had a couple of holding calls. On the last, was it last week, Ron, or was it the week before that? Um, candidate. I can't remember what he did a couple of weeks ago. I think he had a couple of holding calls. But I mean, he. I don't know why. Yeah, the I'm real unsung. That up. The real unsung hero is the offensive line. Manera unbelievably yeah. good. Mike Munchak does a fabulous job. Uh, with them. They don't get nearly the credit they uh, deserve. I know Roethlisberger and Connor try to give it to them as much as they can, but uh, the Steelers have paid a lot of money for that line, and I think they're getting every penny's worth out of it. Let's go to Vaughn and Churchill. Vaughn, you're on the sports call. Hey, uh, Bob, uh, and, uh, Bob and um, Ron, how you guys doing tonight? Good. What's up? Hey, I'd just like to make a quick comment. Um, and Ron took my thunder. Offensive line was just superb yesterday. Uh, couldn't say too much more about that. But the game ball, I like to give to Mike Hilton. Uh, oh, boy made three or four tremendous tackles that I thought was like all pro material. He is. Um, He's played really, really well. You're right, Vaughn. You yeah. are right on with that. He's been outstanding. Okay. Thank you. All right. Thank you. Appreciate it. Let's go to line one. That's Mike and Katanning. Mike, go right ahead. Yeah, sir. How you doing? Good. Thank you. Good. Um, just wanted to see what you guys thought percentage-wise that Le'Veon Bell signs. And also, Ron, I just did not like that GPA comment. I thought that was very racist. I think you owe the viewers an apology. Racist? I just said it. he misspelled the word. I don't know how you get racist out of that. Uh, do I think he's going to sign? Uh, no, I don't. I'll believe it when he gets in here. I can't believe anything until I see it. I think he is. I think he has... You know, really, he wants to get this over with. Uh, he, and quite frankly, he can force their hand and do nothing and miss the entire season, but the Steelers would still er, you know, have his rights for one year if they want that to be the case. They can mess around with him a little bit, Ron, but I don't suspect the Steelers want to do that. They're probably sick of this drama and want to get on with yeah. it. Maybe that's what he's counting on. But at the same time, to me, he would be prudent to come in, sign this thing in, and I would do it tomorrow. This could be one week if he's going to be on a two-week exemption, and then next week or whatever – and then you get he's paid running, a little bit. He's and then running you, out of time to help him, Bob. We, well, he's only the halfway point true. of see. I know. That, we had Roethlisberger on a couple of weeks ago. He said even if he comes in now, it'll probably be three or four weeks before he can help the team. That would still leave him a quarter of the season, I guess, if he comes in now. But uh, uh, to me, uh, they, they've moved on. I mean, DeCastro said it best the other day. He said, I don't have time to worry about this. i got to block. And they love what James Conner's doing for him, and good for them. Good for Conner. No, I think it's good for everybody, but I also think all you need is one injury to, to ask yourself this question. Would you rather have Stephen Ridley, Jalen Samuels, or Le'Veon Bell come in in case of an injury to James Conner? The answer is clear-cut, slam dunk, Le'Veon Bell. Therefore, they need him on this roster for the rest of the year, in my opinion, and it's up to him to do that. They can't force him to do it. So they're sitting and they don't, you know, basically they move on without him. However, I think down deep they, they would like to have him here, Ron, for the balance of the season. Yeah, I mean, he's insurance in case something happens to Connor. I mean, it touches Connor gets every day. Now, I said he was asked about this yesterday. And he said, I'm built for this. Well, you know, uh, we'll see. It only takes one injury somewhere. It could be a freak thing. Um, I think they'd love to have both running backs in full Great shape, ready to go down the stretch, and we'll see if Le'Veon comes in. Carl in Millville, you are up next. Hey, Carl. Hey, Bob. How you doing tonight? Thank you for calling. Some interesting calls in tonight. What was that guy talking about GPA? <laughs> that, did I hear that right? Yeah, I, it, it, just whatever you want to talk about. Go ahead. Yeah, I uh, just wanted to talk about the Penguins. I mean, geez, they've been pretty bad here the last week and a half. I can't think of much that could be worse than them other than your blazer on that <laughs> yeah you really hurt my feelings with that one let's go out to Hayden in Fox Chapel what's up Hayden how are you oh guys I hope I can bring something some normal feedback to this this call Thanks, call show 
Yeah, sorry. Uh, you know, I'm thinking about Le'Veon Bell, and you know, think he might ruin the team dynamic if he comes in. You know, they're playing very well right now, and you can't mess with something like that. Do you really and, believe and, that? Do you, you really know. believe he would ruin I the think dynamic? It's, I, he could. I mean, you, you don't know. I mean, I'm not in the room every day. Neither are you guys, so we don't know that. I just think it's a veteran uh, I think it's group, certainly though. Certainly possible. I think it's a veteran group that they know what they're doing, and they're not going to be uh, influenced one way or the other here. They know who he is. They know what he wants. Yeah. They agree with it. The key all. is, can he play? Can he yeah. help him? Is he in shape? Is he ready to go? If he can help That's him, they'll player. welcome him back. If he comes in fat, out yeah. of shape, not ready to go, he's going to have some big time problems. You really you think know, he's like that, one, though, Ron? You know. One him. question. No. I'm sorry, Bob. No, uh, it's okay. I'm sorry. Uh, maybe you could uh, give Ron one of your two pays. <laughs> Uh, it's a good I, night tonight. It is a good night. Okay, let's go to John in Beachview. Hey, John. Hey, Bob. Hi, Ron. Thanks hey. for taking my call. Hey, I'm really concerned about Chris Boswell right now. No, I don't no. know if it's just a mental status thing or oh. it's certainly not a physical thing. Kickoffs are going good, nice and deep, but uh, missing these extra points, and if I have to count on him to win the game, I'm concerned. Well, you're not the only one. I know one guy to my left who's concerned, too. Well, I mean, uh, he's he's missed too many kicks this year. Last year he was money. How many games did he win? And I know Mike Tomlin is still behind him because he says he, how many games did he win for us last year? I like to think if it comes down to it in a big game, he'll make the kick. He's missed these extra points early in games. I I, I can't figure it out, Bob. I know you have a theory on him, like a golfer, but uh, I do. But I, all I'm should hi- is, they I've should seen, hire you over there to work I've with. I've seen too much good in, uh, in his game, and I think he'll be fine. I think it's a bump in the road for him. He, he you know, it happens. The, the job of a kicker, uh, you're under scrutiny all the time. When everything's going well, you're a hero. People love you. They give you twenty million dollars. You miss a few, and all of a sudden they're thinking, "Want to run you out of town?" How many guys do you know have been cut before multiple times and then have gone on to start him as a kicker? Sean Sweeson was a case in, in point, wasn't he? Yeah, I mean, Boswell's been so good, but not this year, Bob, from very first game in Cleveland. They could have won that game if he makes a field goal there. I understand. I just, at this point, that's not a concern for me. That's me personally. We're going to need to take a break. We'll come back with more. It's 412-575-2600 right here live, Pittsburgh CW. 